the ultimate status symbol. It's also a warship coming back to that traditional image of the Vikings as raiders and warriors. And although that certainly isn't all the Vikings were, it's a very important part of what gives us a concept of the Viking Age. They did many other things as well, but it was those attacks by the original Vikings, pirates, raiders, that give us a concept of the Viking Age. Not only does it illustrate through objects the scale, the extent of this, this Viking world, but it also places Britain very much within a network of contacts that goes from the Irish Sea to the Caspian Sea. What they show us is a, a similar process of hoarding wealth, but with a much more Eastern flavour. So there's a lot more Slavic jewellery and lots more Islamic dirhams. And that's one of the key aspects of the Viking Age, particularly in the East, was the, the, trans, uh, the transfer of silver uh, in coins from the Islamic world up the Russian river systems and into Scandinavia and beyond. People are normally used to thinking of the Vikings as coming from Scandinavia, having an impact on Northern Europe. But in fact, they created a network of contacts from uh, Eastern Canada to Central Asia, from the Arctic Circle down to North Africa. And they left traces behind them in many of the places they visited. And they picked up both ideas and objects from the places they visited.